Ignatius487 here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Uh, this is the very end of the Mechanist's Lair. <coughs> Sorry. A w One of the DLCs, which is called Automatron. I didn't record, obviously, because I'm already here. Um, the basic gist of this is that you can create your own robots, which is pretty awesome if you have enough parts. I didn't really in, in this particular save because I've used them all to build other shit. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty rad. Like, the Wasteland Workshop is amazing. Here is an example of the robot workbench. I believe I am over encumbered by, like, a lot. Uh, how do I get out of here? Is there a... Okay. The reason that we're recording, though, is because Far Harbor is available. Setting this to repeat. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. Mm-hmm. Alright, that's fair. We're going to level up, because we can. What shall we take? Wait, I don't have that one maxed out yet. Wow, alright. Man, I love being this beast. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Ooh, energy. Uh... That's tough. <clears throat> so many options. Ricochet. Yeah, let's do Ricochet. Ricochet is awesome. Alright. That should give me directions now. On how to get out of here. Good. Come on, Ada. Is that up here? Uh, there it is. It's like, where's my, my local map at? <coughs> oh, it's unclear. So let's try. Oh, automatron. I wanted to, to, to tell you guys about that because <coughs> it's important, at least in terms of letting you know letting you know what's going on. Uh, shoot, no, it's not yet. We must go forward. It must be right here. Ada, coming, Ada. Oh. So, the way that the Automatron quest runs, just kind of so you know this, the, uh, there's a caravan <coughs> that gets attacked by robots. Kill all the, ro all, all, all the enemy robots, and Ada is in, like, an Automatron, not an, uh, not an, uh, not an uh, Automatron body, uh, a Saltron body. And you need to, to do some stuff to fix things. You She sends you to go get... At, after you've... <coughs> um, after you've fixed her, she's a little bit damaged when, when you kind of stumble upon them. The... You're trying to find the mechanist because the mechanist sent the robots to attack the caravan. So she sends you with map locators. Thankfully, she sends you to destroy, or to rather, to find and destroy these robots that have like satellite triangulator things in them. You gotta find three of them. Solomon to Ada, <coughs> and. Brings you to this place where there's this, this robo brain. 
Also... Well, who's bodiless? And you have to build a, a, a robot body for... For her. It, I guess. <coughs> Whatever. Oh wait, we got we're map, we're map. We gotta go. Uh, let's go back to base. Meow, 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 meow. And then with her all built up, she tells you. Okay, she has info that you need to find the mechanist. But she won't give it to you till you build her a robot body. So it's kind of a tutorial within the quest. And you build her a body. She says, "Okay, the mechanist is here." Blah blah blah. You go. The mechanist throws a ton of robots at you. I mean, it is stupid how many robots there are. I'm glad I was beast already when I did it. I haven't done it with my character yet, who's level 30-something? No, 20s, late 20s. Okay. <coughs> so, it's pretty neat here. This is a new device, relatively new device, that they've added. I believe that this is a uh, remnant or something from uh, Wasteland Workshop. It's an item, a new item from Wasteland Workshop. You hit the button, it does the spray, walk through, and you are free of radiation. <coughs> Which is amazing! I do want to show you guys that. I need to fix my, my gear first. And then... We will proceed. And I'll show you guys. I'll showcase that. Yeah. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Goodness. Oh. There we go. Mm-hmm. I wonder, is there more after six yet? <clears throat> I didn't think so. <clears throat> Equip all my gear again. And here we go. Back in business. <clears throat> so the Wasteland Workshop, because I, I've with my new character, I've been I've been playing around a lot with it more, more than I was before. Anyway. Um. Yeah, that's alright. How much? I'm talking about overloaded here. This Ultron Blade is awesome. <clears throat> oh, okay. I know. <clears throat> I was wondering why I was so overloaded, and I know why now. Just gotta remember where I put everything. <clears throat> Goodness. Man. Super frustrating. We're just gonna put all these weapons I don't need in the box. Cryo mine, cryogenic grenades, frag grenades. Keep the Molotov cocktails because they're fun. That's a sweet little saw. Big saw. <coughs> Two handed weapon. Nope. Apparel goes over here. There's anything I don't need. We'll put it away. Mechanist's armor and helmet. And that should be fine, I think. Yeah. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so 
So you can't use the computer while you are in the power armor. So I want to show you guys this. It's so awesome. You can change the head to like Protectron head, Assaultron head, Sentry head, Sentry factory head. I mean, it's just amazing what all you can do with it, you know? Assaultron head laser. I figured I'd go with that because it's balls. <coughs> Succubus helm? Whoa. It's unstable. That is super cool. <laughs> uh, torso. I went with the sentry torso because you get more health. It is, it is vulnerable to, to overheating, but that's okay. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, storage armor, storage armor, shoulder launcher. I don't think I have anything installed in this yet because I don't have enough adhesive, damn it. Adds hacking subroutine. <clears throat> That's cool. Increases perception of nearby allies. Tracks targets. Increases stealth of nearby allies. Deals energy damage to nearby enemies. Resistance field. <clears throat> I think we're going to do the resistance field. Anyway, it is super awesome. And, like, I'm, I'm digging it a lot. You can paint them different colors. I believe I just have the... Uh, aqua paint right now. Let's go to the sleek black paint. Yeah. Oh. And I have the opportunity to do the robot legs. The the sentry legs, I mean. But the thing is that it can't move through larger spaces with the big legs. The big torso is fine. <laughs> it's the big legs that are aggravating. I have labels now, but I haven't actually gotten onto labeling anything. Uh <laughs> oh. I want to show you this too. This is pretty neat. Um, <clears throat> some of the new things that you can build. One is there's a generator that that produces 100 power, which is stupid amounts of power. There's a... Uh, where is it? You do neon signage now, which I actually like a lot, like a whole lot. I think it's super neat. See? That's very cool. I'm digging it. The, oh, where is it? <clears throat> arena. Here we are. So you can build an arena. Blue team. And red team. Blue team, red team. There's the uh, beta wave emitter. Turns it, it, it reduces the aggressiveness of creatures. And then uh, this one's for settlers. Super neat. I mean, I'm 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 so pumped about it. I think it's cool. I think I won't be building an arena with this character, but I might with a different one as we go. We'll kind of see how that runs. <coughs> now, do I want to go <coughs> to the new place in my power armor? I think for now, we're going to say no. I'm going to leave my power armor here. 
And we're going to do this a little old school. And we're just going to go in this, in this mode. Got new robot armor. That is amazing. And we need to go to base, I believe. Here we are. <clears throat> Home plate is the house you can get in uh, Diamond City. I'm sure I've talked about that before. They don't have it yet with, yet with my new character. But we're going to end it here because we're out of time. We've talked about some other things. Uh, I got some. I got. I'm prepared now to start the Far Harbor Jazz. So until next time, Bobo Tuna. We'll see you next video.